Hey guys, welcome back and uh, doing my little um, collection update. That I uh, just got some more things today, some goodies. I stopped in the uh, the Goodwill, as usual. Stopped in uh, my favorite pawn shop in Danville, Gold Rush Pawn, and uh, got some good deals. So uh, let's first start with the Goodwill thing. Pretty interesting day at the Goodwill. The first thing I got was this. It's a trauma film. It's uh, Madigan's Millions with Dustin Hoffman. It's an older movie, but um, they had half off, so I ended up getting it for a dollar fifty. Not too bad. I don't really have a lot of trauma films, so that's always a good thing. <clears throat> All right, and then as far as DVDs go, that was the only DVD I got there. Um, I did get a CD soundtrack, which is Spider-Man, which I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a. 3D uh, cover art, the Spider-Man soundtrack with Nickelback, of course, with the hero. It's got some artwork in there. Pretty cool. Um, got that for a dollar. And I got a couple VHS, which they're having a big sale. And I don't want to take 12, so I tried to get. They went 12 for 99 cents. So I end up getting uh, seven. They were still trying to charge me. The standard 50 cents a piece and say give me the deal because I wasn't going to take 12. But who wants 12 VHS anyway? I mean, who really wants a couple? But you know, uh, a couple cool things here. I got this um, X Men um, Inner Magneto and Deadly Reunion. It's the Stan Lee uh, creator's choice. A couple of these here. These are. Ronald McDonald, The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald. Um, welcome, or uh, The Legend of Grimace Islands, and then Birthday World. These are kind of actually rare to find. Uh, they came out in, I think, 98 or so. You yeah, know, they're worth a little bit of money, not too much. Now, for anybody that doesn't really know, before VHS, there was Beta. I ended up getting some betas. Um, this one here, the Beastmaster. And yeah, this is what a beta looks like before VHS. Really cool though. Um, I'm going to actually sell these because I don't have a beta max player and I'm not going to buy a beta player. It's still pretty cool though. Pretty old. See Ben Hur. Yeah. Now this one I may keep, I don't know, I'm, I'm debating, Monster Hunter. Really cool artwork on the front. Um, like I said, it's a beta. It's in the box. It's not in bad shape for as old as it is, but yeah. Um, the top of the box is a little torn. Not too much, though. Um, but yeah, really cool. Uh, really think that's really neat. <clears throat> and this one, <laughs> at the Goodwill, keep in mind. And... Let's just look at it. It's called Real People. Now, I was looking at it, and there's the front cover. It wasn't, you know, showed a picture of a girl. But down here, it says adult material, not for sale to minors. <sighs> yes, my friend, it's Betamax pornography. Pretty interesting. But, yeah, it's a beta porn. And, yes, I'm going to sell it. <laughs> Alright, so pawn shop, pawn shop, pawn shop. Let's go into the pawn shop ones. I'll go through the ones that I really liked first, um, that I was really happy to get. Um, first and foremost, let's start with this original artwork, original DVD release. Um, it's in mint condition. Awesome. And it's got the Candyman book. I mean, and it's it's not one of the generic book see mirror mirror on the wall who's the scariest of all like this is really cool this is original release this thing is not your average one of the mill um you know it's not a special edition it's original edition uh, Candyman. love this movie next up ah disturbia um i had never sat down and fully watched this i watched parts of it before i always wanted to watch it and it was on cable the other day when I was at work. Um, and I was like, you know, if I could find this in Pawn Shop, it would be awesome. Yeah, so on Disturbia. Alright. And uh, I do want to say that 
I got these movies really cheap. Um, between the 21 I got from the pawn shop and the one DVD I got from the uh, Goodwill, and then the three VHS, four Betamax, and that CD, I paid eighteen seventy five for everything. So I figured about eighty cents a piece, and that's really good, especially when you get titles like I've shown you, and then you get this. Yes, Hocus Pocus. Love this movie. Uh, insert all that. Yeah, so I mean, you can get something like this for eighty cents. I mean, that's that's a win win. You know, uh, it's definitely a win win. All right. So next up we have. Uh, what are we gonna go on the next one? Yeah, some of these are cliche. I don't want to go too cliche. Varsity Blues. I think that may be the original. Yeah, I think it's the original DVD, which is cool. You know, anytime you can get original, it's original artwork. Really cool. Uh, comedy, Dane Cook, Isolated Incident, um, this is a live performance in front of 400 people at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood, uh, I'm going to sit down and watch it sometime, I like Dane Cook, he's pretty funny, Employee of the Month, pretty funny, um, uh, Body Snatchers, um, uh, The Invasion Continues, I actually have this in like a four pack thing, I totally forgot it, for some reason I was thinking it was the key for or, uh, the Donald Sutherland one. So, yeah, I messed up on that. Um, okay. Inherent Vice. Um, this just looked really good. I know it's the rental version, but whatever. It was less than, it was less than 80 cents. Joaquin Phoenix, Josh Brolin, Owen Wilson, Catherine Watterson, Reese Witherspoon, uh, Benicio Del Toro, uh, Martin Short. Yeah, I mean, this is like a real good... Uh, it's like a psychedelic 60s type thing or whatever. Um, okay. I get this. This is a History Channel Weird U.S. Tales of the Bazaar. It's where they go. They go around, excuse me, at a belch. They go around and they look at weird places in the United States. And, uh, yeah, I started watching it last night. Not too bad. Alright, this one is kind of rare. I haven't really saw or seen too many of those on eBay. Um, this is Savage Sam. It's a Disney release. It's a sequel to Old Yeller. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And next up, oh, we have a couple Elvis. And somebody must have lost their whole Elvis collection at the pawn shop. But I get this deluxe edition of Jailhouse Rock. Yeah. And it's in mint condition. And then on top of mint condition, we got this original release DVD uh, back in 2000. Sealed. Brand new. They bought it at Sam's Club back in the day for $6.22. Blue Hawaii. Awesome. And it's not the deluxe edition. It's the original DVD release. Of 1961 film. And it has Angela Lansbury, who's super young in this movie, which is really creepy. Okay, we got Kevin Sorbos, the Call the Conqueror. Um, yeah. Um, don't know too much about that film. I'll probably catch it later. Alright, next up we have a James Belushi movie called Retroactive. Looks like an action movie, like suspense action movie. But yeah, I'm going to sit down and watch that uh, sometime. Um, yeah, and we have a Bravo Brilliant but cancelled. Easy Streets. It's showing the the shows that networks cancelled. It's like three hours of this. So, yeah. It looks like it would be interesting to see some of the shows that were cancelled and the hidden stories behind those. Next up, I got a Masters of Horror. Um, I had this movie at one point in time. Uh, this is what George went from uh, Cheers. I had this at one time. It's a really bizarre movie about a guy It's um I believe has his wife, she's dead, and he's holding on to her body, and new neighbors moving next door, and he's just really creepy, and he's, yeah, sicko, but yeah, the family, um, it was a good movie, decided to get it back, alright, we have the return of the Titanic, 
uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet, first time since Titanic that they were in a movie together, and of course she won winner uh, for Best Actress for a Golden Globe, and of course Leo got shafted, but yeah, so, alright, this next one is, uh, I'm pretty sure some people consider it a classic, but it's Jack Lemmon, um, James Garner, Dan Aykroyd, my fellow Americans, I always wanted to see this, I never watched it as a kid. Alright, so about as cliche as I can get, the last two um, films I got were, you know, uh, original and the sequel, and they're as cliche as they come. We have The Ring and The Ring 2, and the only reason I picked this up is because I was at 18, I was like, if they give me a deal where I get 20 DVDs for $15, I needed two more, and The Ring was right there, and I was like, oh, I thought I saw The Ring 2. So the Ring 2, Unrated, and then the Ring. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. So that is my video for the week. Um, you know, if you like the video, definitely hit the like button. And subscribe, share, spread the love. Like I said, you know, I want to, I have a lot to offer. Um, pretty, uh, pretty unique personality. And uh, yeah, so I definitely appreciate, and uh, you know, everything. Alright, well this is Retro Man Cave signing off, and you have a great day.